What's up guys, my name is Sean Brown and today I'm going to teach you how to smith grind on ledges. Okay guys, I think this is the perfect time for me to explain how to do it because I'm at the point where I'm just now getting them down so I can tell you the tips that are going through my mind as I was just getting them down instead of like, you know, being an expert and already having them down. But today I'm gonna go into specific details, what helped me, and I'm gonna get you guys to land this trick today. So the tricks I recommend having down before trying the front smith is a front 50-50 and maybe a front 5-0. It's not necessary, but it's gonna help you balance on one truck. All right guys, so my foot position, whenever I do a front smith, it's pretty much just like an ollie or however you would get into a 50-50, so just keep it like that. But I feel my back foot, just move a little bit back to the back pocket. It's going to help you a little bit push it to the ledge when you're doing the smith grind. And it will keep you from going like this, like your toe going over the tail when you go on the ledge. So it's helpful if you have it here, so if it ends up pushing up, it ends up just going to a regular position. So basically what the front smith is, it's a one truck grind where your back truck is locked in on the ledge front side and then your front truck is gonna dip over to the side of the ledge where basically you're a little bit your board side on the ledge and uh, your back truck is grinding on the ledge. <laughs> so basically the thing that helped me the most was thinking of it like a 50-50 but missing your front truck. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna prevent you from overshooting when you get on the ledge because some people think you have to treat it like a lip slide, you have to like push your back truck forward, but you actually don't. All you have to do is just think of a 50-50 and just let your front truck miss off to the side because you're locking in the same way with your back truck as a 50-50. So if you do that, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier if you go in with that mindset. Rolling up to the ledge, I pretty much say go the same angle that you're going for a uh, front 50-50. And it's just for the reason because, like I said before, when you think of it as a front fit 50 but missing your front truck, you're just gonna wanna go at the same as a 50 50. But make sure you're going kind of at an angle. You don't wanna go too parallel because you may not be able to lock into the trick when you're doing the Smith. So, getting into the trick where your front truck misses it, the main thing for that I say is turn your shoulders a little bit to the left if you're regular or a little bit to the right if you're goofy. And I say this because if you try to focus on turning your feet too much, then you're gonna overshoot it and maybe get into a lip slide or you're just gonna kinda hit the ledge. You're not gonna be able to just get into it smoothly. So make sure you just turn your shoulders a little bit so you can get into it as smoothly as possible. So basically what I do for just practicing getting into the trick, just make sure you roll up to it a bunch of times, just like I said, just like a 50-50. Maybe go slow at first just so you can practice the lock-in. But honestly, I think it's gonna be easier just going straight for it. But the thing is, when you're going into the trick and you actually lock in, you're gonna have to lean super far back because your nose is gonna be dipped down. And if you don't lean back, your nose is just gonna fall to the ground and then it's not gonna be able to slide through the whole trick. So just practice leaning back on your back truck until it actually slides with it. So honestly, I think this is the hardest part about the Smith, but as long as you practice it over time, make sure you lean back as you're doing it, then it's gonna be a little bit easier. Another kind of difficult thing with the Smith grind is actually coming out of it. And some people will somehow manage to go down with the front truck first and not with like kind of like a pop out. But I recommend learning how to pop out of the Smith. And a way you can kind of practice that, I guess, is just kind of do like a power alley on a ledge. It's kind of the same thing, but you're just locking in with your truck. So you kind of like push down a little bit and then lift up. It's the exact same thing as a power alley if you're on a ledge or like another thing. You just dip down a little bit and then lift up. The thing is, if you kind of learn how to pop out of it, then it's gonna be easier to learn how to like Smith 180 and other variations out of it. So instead of just riding out of it. So try to uh, learn pop outs as much as you can. Okay, now for some common mistakes. Um, one of the main ones I think is kind of overshooting it and getting into a lip slide where your back truck is going over the ledge. So to fix that, all I say is just act like it's a 50 50, miss your front truck. And you want to do is like, just mainly turn your shoulders into the turning your whole foot and like trying to shoot over the ledge. So if you just turn your uh, shoulders away from the ledge, then your body and like legs are gonna follow it. So just try that instead of turning your feet uh, with the trick. Another common error is leaning too far forward. And basically what you're gonna do is kind of get stuck on it. So you just wanna make sure you lean as far back as possible so you can come out of the trick. And then the last one, like I said, is coming out with your front truck first and not like kind of landing smoothly. And all I say is just practice pop outs and power alleys because all you're gonna do is just dip a little bit, then lift up, and then you're gonna be able to lift up out of it better and ride away smoothly. 
Also, if you're getting stuck on the ledge, actually try to go faster than what you're kind of comfortable with because as soon as I started going faster on ledges, more tricks on the ledge became easier because, I don't know, it just helps you slide better. If not, use wax, but I just recommend going faster. Don't go too slow because it's going to be too hard to do the trick. I don't know. It's like just kind of a thing. So make sure you try to go faster and then a little bit out of your comfort zone. But if you do it, it's going to be worth it. It's going to help you learn more tricks. All right, guys. So that was how to smith grind. I hope that helped you guys learn that. If you guys have any questions, make sure you comment them down below or DM me on Instagram with some attempts and I might be able to help you. Otherwise than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And seriously, guys, I'm telling you, all you got to do is leave it like a front 50 and mention front truck. But make sure you do all that good stuff. Peace.